Hi, Kevin here. Uh, we're nearly at 1 million viewers uh, at my battle from Nitro Rallycross Round 4 in Glen Helen, uh, which is amazing. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy you all like what I do, what I, what I try to do at least when I'm, when I'm driving. So uh, I was thinking today uh, we're gonna do a reaction on it. Uh, so, you know, make you, make you, you know, see what I thought during the race and during the, my, my attempt to pass. So uh, let's, let's look at it. So yeah, I have the pole position against Scott Speed. Uh, he does a slightly better start than I do. Uh, gets around me on the outside, uh, nice and clean. I decide from here to just you know go with him. It's four laps. Everything can happen. Uh, you can see here I'm looking what he do in the Yorker, very cautious. And then I, when I see that he doesn't go to the Yorker, I go straight out there just to get clean air. The supercars we drive is so sensitive of the airflow into the intercooler. If we are too close behind the car, we lose so much power after two laps. So I decided to go to the Yorker early to get clean air and just, you know, be able to focus everything on my own driving. So out from the Yorker, I'm 6.395 seconds after. Uh, now I hear from my spotter to just, you know, I, I knew already, but he just tells me to go for it. So I give it my all. Uh, take one tenth off, almost one and a half cent off, uh, to the first sector, which probably uh, Scott's uh, spot to see as well. Uh, and now over the checkered flag, it's down one tenth more. So I, I was really on it here and pushing everything I could. They are smart, they send them into the Yorker early, directly the lap after, so I, so I don't have more time to catch. And here I try now, the first time I, I did, to go flat out over the jump, which was too long. So I, 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 I was really trying to get it to stop there. Uh, still managed to avoid him. I go very, very sideways so I does not you know, take us both out. Uh, and now it's kind of, my thinking is, okay, what do we do? Do I go, do I be aggressive directly? Uh, or do I just kind of go with it and see where I do feel stronger? I, I felt very strong at this track. I wasn't afraid really, what should I should say, I wasn't afraid that anyone would, you know, just leave me behind so I know the pace was there so I decided okay let's go with him see where I am strong where he is strong and then just just go for it on, on the last lap so this third lap is really pretty boring if you if you if you look at the whole race afterwards uh, but at that corner I could see that he was opening it up very very strange so after the big jump he opened up the corner to get a better exit which I saw that that could be my my option. Uh, so now I focus really much on this exit. So this this is the important lap. This exit I really nailed. This was my best uh, split four during the whole weekend. Strangely enough, uh, but that was good. So I'm just half a second behind him now, and just pushing. Yeah, you can see my jumps. I went I went hard this lap. Came close here, and uh, yeah. I just pause it now, straight over the jump, and this is really where I start my attempt to pass to, to pass the Subaru. Uh, I know this is where I kind of need to do it because this was where I saw that he opened up the door. Just uh, not really opened up the door; it was just how he was driving there. He was focusing really much on the exit, and when I drove there, I was focusing more to not lose as much time as possible in the entry. So slightly different driving styles, which made which made it work for me. Uh, and you can see during the braking that I go much more to the right uh, and the Subaru stay much more to the left, which is, which is really where I start my pass. So we go a little bit more. You can see the two different lines. I get side by side and here is kind of like, okay, game is on. Now, now we can play. Uh, these tracks are really amazing to drive and really amazing to race on because you can do the over and under from back to back corners all the time. Uh, which, you know, I really love and I, I'm very happy that Travis has brought these kind of tracks in, into the sport. Uh, because, you know, follow each other on tarmac. I'm so tired of that. That, that, that we can leave in the back, that, that we can leave to the racing guys. This is rally cross, this is what it's about. And we see that on the views as well. Uh, you don't get this much views on tarmac following each other. So. But yeah, let's go forward to the next corner where you will see in the jump, I already start to flick the car. I know what I want to do. I want to stay out to the right and I want to 
try to get earlier on the throttle in the exit on the left side of speed uh, to try to get, you know, to try to all the passing there. So we go there. So I flick the car in the air. Really, really tight with my front bumper and his rear bumper. I go flat over this jump. And here, when I landed in the jump, I actually felt I already have him there, but somehow he got, yeah, I mean, we know the Subaru have, have very good traction straight forward on gravel, but I still kind of felt I should have him there. Uh, I was halfway up, but he managed to, you know, out drag me. Anyway, but I stayed there long enough that, that he wanted to protect too much and, and you know, break too late. Because I break, I'm breaking too late, which means that Scott break even later. So that means he, he, you know, he will go wide. So we go slightly more forward. So I'm just behind him. I never, I never touch him here. Uh, like from with my bumper to his bumper, it's, uh, we're talking millimeters, but it's never a touch. But just that I'm, you know, I stayed so long uh, on the inside and let him know that I was still there. That, you know, in the car, you automatically, you go. It's like, it's always when you side by side with someone, it's whoever has the balls to, to go flat out the longest. But there's also a corner after, so I try to be smart. I, you will see now, I turn the car earlier and just try to get on the inside and I do that. But this is where I do the only mistake I did in this scenario. We go slightly more forward and I will try to explain. Right here, I am just in front of him and here I should have, <coughs> sorry, uh, here I should have just braked and stayed side by side with him. Which is very, very hard to say now after watch, but this is really where I lose my pass. Uh, I should have calmed down, braked slightly more, and, and it would have been an easy pass, but you know, there's so much adrenaline and you want to just get to the checker flag so early. So I'm, 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 I go a little bit too deep in, uh, I hit a little bit my rear into his, uh, yeah, the front of the car, which makes my car change direction. So we go a little bit forward and, we, and you see when my car changes direction, I immediately need to go a longer, like a longer way. And that's where I do, yeah, that's where I really lose my, my pass because I tap the rear wall with the right side, as you will see. I manage to fix it, but I tap it again and then I lose the, the speed to the, to the shaky flag. <laughs> so sm small tap, I hit the bang, I try to fix it, I hit it again. And that's where I lose my speed. Scott goes flat out over the over the second jump. Uh, we, you know, he airs so so long, the longest air I've seen in that jump. Normally we were, you know, we were slightly left foot brake, but I mean, we, of course, both of us are going flat out, just trying trying to be first to the to the, to the over the checkered flag. In the end, he gets me back by 0 0.047 seconds, which is nothing. Sadly, you know, sadly for me, uh, but yeah, really great battle. Of course, I would like to win it. Uh, the first day of Nitro Rallycross is very important. Like, I love these battle brackets we have, but I don't think the fans understand how important it is to, <coughs> to win it because that pole position is so important. Like, we don't drive really on time here. It's all about whoever gets first to the checkered flag in the heats that, that comes on Sunday. So winning the battle brackets is important. That's why all of our drivers, uh, all of us drivers are really, really fighting hard to, to win it. But yeah, it's, it's, you know, really tight finish. The fans loved it. Uh, we went viral on YouTube, Facebook, everything. So I, I think at least everyone enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for sure. I would have been even more happy if I would have got a win, but yeah, it's, it was cool. So at this point, I, I knew I didn't win. Like you can feel that in the car, it, even though it's a photo finish, normally you have that feeling as soon as you kind of cross it. You, even though it's, we talk about centimeters, you, you know. So I knew, <coughs> I knew Scott had it, but yeah. It was, it was a good battle. Slightly too much wheel spin I had in my launch. You can see the rear of my car went sideways, which is why I have to leave, you know, I have to settle for second 
second place. Uh, now, when you look back at it, of course, it would have been a lot easier probably if I would have taken the start, but yeah, it's rallycross, everything happened. I was happy with my Yorker. Uh, and you see here, I break and I try to break, and yeah, it's, it's tight. I knew it was tight. I knew I was catching time. I heard from my spotter, so, so I tried hard. And this track was used so nice when it came to be able to race. Uh, most of the tracks have been. <coughs> Here's Scott in the Yorker. I can see me flying in here soon. Inside him, smashing on the door. Nothing too, nothing too harsh. Yeah, it was tight on the there. It, and, and, but he, he, he made the gap. Way up alongside him. That last corner move. I mean, like, uh, all of them. He's out to in. in and, like when he went out to there. in and moved in, and Scott challenged him back. Right, here we go. So this is the end of the race. Liam, so he gets these in his door here. Liam was really good. It's good to have a driver uh, looking at this because they see what we do. So it's really good to have a driver like, like Liam jumping in, even though he lost his battle, but it was good to, to hear his thoughts about this as well. Ah, I should have calmed down. I looked at this way too many times just to know what I should do better next time to be able to, to make it work. And then this, this, and that, those are the very jumps that Scott Speed said to me. You can take a risk and you can land to flat, but you will be able to get the pass. And then Scott goes and does it. Yeah, it's, can I just ah. point out that Kevin did not lift for that last jump? Yeah, no, no way I lift. I went flat out. And there's no way he lifted. He's just gassed over. Wow. I love it. And actually now, when I look back at it, you will see in the next, next clip, you can see that if there would be one lap more, Scott actually get the puncture in the landing. So, uh, yeah, he was lucky. That could have been really chaotic and could have been really disastrous. If you look at his right front tire now, I'm amazed I didn't get a puncture. I should also get a puncture, but you can see his tire, bam, pop off. Was, was, uh, was the gap. So less than half, uh, what's that, less than half a hundredth? I mean, it's, 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 it's not a lot. That's the only time Turning off the ALS, mid slide, perfect. That's what I do. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for my reaction. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, I will try it. I will try this move plenty of times again in 2022. If you want to see the, the normal clip, the live clip, go to Nitro RX uh, on YouTube or follow the link uh, down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video on Oskar XMC YouTube.